Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Collectors, and today we're doing a pickup video of all the games, retro games, and modern games that I've gotten in the last little while since the last pickup video. So we're going to start off with some Dreamcast games. Those of you who know, I'm going for a complete North American Dreamcast set, and I'm currently at 56 away. There are minor variations that I'm not necessarily looking forward to getting, or if I'm going to get them at all, but I want to solely focus just on the North American launch games. So we're going to start it off with an infamous game that's known as one of the worst Dreamcast games on the console and that's spirit of speed it's as bad as you think it's 1930s race car driving along a track it's really really slow really really bad handling the idea of bringing old world cars to the forefront of racing isn't a bad idea but the fact that when you have to port that over to how fast the car was actually going during that period of time and you're playing these race tracks it's not as exciting as you would think it is. Next up, Red Dog. Actually, it's really, really good. The graphics look fantastic. This was part of the Sega Dreamcast exclusives list that I did. I'll put the card up here. The graphics are really good. The controls are pretty decent. I just don't like the inverted of the controls. The graphics are fantastic. The gameplay is good, but it is very hard. I'd be surprised if you're able to make it through the first level without dying on your first try, because it's, it's kind of hard to try to get through this game you can, but it's just trial and error. You get to a certain area, die, okay, go back, try a different technique, die, go back, try a different technique, die and go back, and then try to bring those three different techniques forward to actually get forward to the game. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you wanna just play a game and just mindlessly sink into the couch, this kind of weighs on you when you're dying three, four times and you only get three lives and you have to start all over again, the same mission over again. So not a bad game per se, but very difficult. Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage. This is actually gonna be another one of the Dreamcast exclusive games and also another exclusive list that I'm planning on doing real soon. It's a hack and slash where you play as Guts and you hack through 30 different enemy types. Your sword is massive and the gameplay is pretty decent. The controls are a little bit taken getting used to, not a bad thing at all. If it had a second analog stick, I'm sure it would be a lot better, but we had to play with what we had. So like I said, not a bad game at all. And the fact that it's an anime and it falls pretty good to anime as well. It's a great game to add to any Dreamcast collection. And last, this is one of my rarest games on the Sega Dreamcast. I was actually really excited to get this and I got this on a super great deal with a bunch of trades. And that is Mars Matrix. When playing through this, it's a bullet hell style game where there's an unbelievable amount of bullets on screen and you have to quickly dodge as much as you can to try to take down enemies. There's a bunch of upgrades throughout the game. You could actually use your currency that you've accumulated in the game and to unlock more and more things in a general store where you can do different music or different ship types as unlocks. It's a great game. I really did enjoy it as I was playing through this. It's Kind of difficult, I didn't make it very far. I think I got it maybe to the second or third level and that was as far as I made it. But it's true to form a bullet hell. Next up are two games that I actually was really looking forward to getting just because one, I don't really see these type of games on the store shelves, especially at thrift store shelves. They're usually gone right away. And I wanted to play along with my kids. So I moved my Wii upstairs to the main TV so that my kids could play along with me. And these two games were a blast to play alongside them. And that's Mario Sluggers and Super Mario Bros. Wii. These were both great time wasters. Playing through these and, and just having such a blast with my kids. The Mario Sluggers was such a great baseball game. So many laughs. There's so many characters I still yet to unlock. And the gameplay doesn't end just there. And Super Mario Bros. Wii. I've played this on countless other consoles. Uh, 3DS and, and various other games that are this type of gameplay but playing this on the big screen with my kids side by side and trying to you know, knock them off or try to use them as bait, which was a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to actually playing through this with them as the days go by. And lastly, this is a game that I'm just gonna spend my countless hours in and I'm looking forward to sinking so much time. I've already gone through two days of this so far and once I put it down, I wanna pick it up immediately and that's for the Nintendo Switch and that's Animal Crossing. This game is so overly addictive. It's just mindless, either farming, whether you're replanting stuff or moving stuff around, to constant customization, to visiting different areas, to changing your clothes, to, to changing flower types, to, to catching animals and bugs and fish. There's so much stuff to do in this game. It's so much fun and having a villager visit your town is such a great achievement that somebody wants to actually move into your godforsaken town. It's such a great game, especially at the time of this recording. 
this is a game that's heavily needed for everybody who has a Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna put my Switch code down here and if you guys wanna join or I had a friend's request, go ahead. I'll put it down here and you guys let me know what you guys think of my island. And there you have it. A few more Dreamcast games that go to the backlog and a few games that I get to play along with my kids. Picking up games right now at this time of recording is kind of scarce to actually happen. But when they do, there's a lot of time actually being used to play these games, especially Animal Crossing. Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. If you guys played any of these games, I know a few of you guys played Animal Crossing and if you haven't, do yourself a favor, order it. If you can't get out of your house, it's a great game nonetheless. Thanks guys.